Hey guys, um, Zikris, I have been asked lately uh, quite a few times now, um, what bot should I get to start um, going after sneakers? And um, what do I do it? You know, you know, what do I need to know? Um, or I bought a bot, now what? Um, so before you buy a, so, so this video is just, just meant you to, um, if you're new, what do you need to know uh, before you go ahead and commit in getting a bot and why? So, um, First of all, uh, when I hear these questions, at first, uh, you know, have you think why you're getting a bot? You know, um, is it because you've never copped this a Yeezy before, and you think you've seen this the social media post, and you're like, wow, that's my way to get a Yeezy, or um, you know, you, you're of experience, you've got a lot of uh, success, and you want to take it to the next level and be able to, to maybe cop large amounts of uh, sneakers or try to get that super hard sneaker that you just haven't been able to get but you have general success overall um, think about why you're doing that um, don't be fooled that into getting in a bot all of a sudden it's just sneakers are going to come raining from the sky dropping on your lap that's not going to happen um, so the bots go through uh, cycles uh, they'll do really well they'll do really poorly um, so that's why I always recommend that you uh, build up a strong uh, manual you know copying game right making sure that you know on a manual drop if you didn't have a bot you'd probably be pretty sure at least to get a personal maybe a couple others to flip and uh, if that's what you do and uh, making sure that that's what um, that 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 part of your understanding of how to get a sneaker is strong because that understanding is what's going to help you configure the bot to uh, do things because all a bot does is take those manual steps that you would go through and automate them so you can run multiple tasks at once in a really quick manner um, so yeah so make sure that you know manual first manual also serves as a backup um, I just posted a video about you know the easy supply clay drop my bot you know crapped itself out I didn't get anything but I had backup plans with copying manually and I was still able to get several pairs of clays um, including my personal size that way so um, manual manual first manual first manual first um, plenty of videos out there uh, Keith Adams got a great video uh, on how to cop manually especially around Adidas um, you know check those out um, next step uh, before you get into this is you need to be in a good cook group because you need the information to be able to put into the bot to be able to run and, and, and be successful and cook groups are probably the best way of getting that information and most efficient way um, can you do it manually sure that does take a lot of time so you got to pick and choose where you're gonna sink your time into to, to do this stuff um, cook groups are awesome it's also a great community um, I'm luckily part of endurance and um, we have great great information there but there are other very solid cook groups um, but think about the cost on this so cook groups cost you between uh, let's say ten dollars at the low low end up to you know upwards of over a hundred dollars a month um, usually um, you get what you pay for so the better cook groups are going to cost more money because they're providing a lot more value uh, making sure make sure that you're getting the value out of there um, but once you're in that cook group that's usually going to give you the best access to get a bot because it's very difficult you know today if I wanted to go to, to cyber and buy cyber I'm not going to be able to get it right those are always sold out um, the easiest way to get into a bot is through a cook group and a group buy uh, and a group buy is um, there is a relationship between the cook group and the bot developers and they'll say well here's 50 licenses and they work out a, a way that they can sell in bulk to these cook groups so get into that um, if not you can go through stuff like bot broker um, which is a very solid middleman it's pretty well trusted uh, but now you're paying resale prices um, like cyber's going, you know, for two to three thousand um, dollars. Prices go up and down, bases off the success of bots. But there's a place to, to get stuff if you're not part of a cook group. All right, I recommend getting in a cook group. You get a bot, you get a bot broker, you get a group buy, and now you have a bot. What bot? Uh, I often get asked. Um, don't don't mess around with the so-called small bots, in my opinion. Um, don't waste your time, um, especially if it's your first bot. You want to have some mixed success. Um, you don't want to get frustrated with a bot that's halfway done. Um, so, uh, Eve AIO, um, Nike Shoebot, the Kickstation, Cyber, um, all those are top-notch bots off the top of my head. Um, I'd go with that. 
and uh, if you can get one of those great um, you can get like specific bots that are like niche bots like sub bot for just supreme and that works really well uh, had pretty good success um, you can do something like that um, so you got a bot then what do you have to do you're gonna have to do two more things now to, to run the bot you have to um, get a server and, and uh, install the, the bot there because um, you're gonna need to be able to you want to keep your server close to the sites and mostly Shopify and most of that stuff all that stuff is run on the East Coast uh, the hot place right now is Virginia so you get a server in Virginia and then you have to get and that's gonna cost you actually quite a bit um, if you go to Google Cloud those can cost you hundreds of dollars a month to run and uh, if you run it 24 7 and then you have proxies that you have to then attach to the bot because essentially what you're doing with a bot is you're taking those manual tasks that I was talking about and automating them and doing them to, let's say 25 times so you need to be able to give each one of those tasks a an address to act on its own so it looks like it's 25 different people requesting against the site because if you get 25 requests from a single site at a single time they're gonna block you and you're gonna get banned and you're not gonna get anything so you have to have proxies to run anything more than one task at a time otherwise you would just do it manually um, so you get you get servers servers you know gonna cost you $100 a month proxies can cost you $30 a month uh, you got cook groups that are costing you you know let's say average of 50 bucks a month you know, you're you're talking right there potentially $180 a month in just money that you just put in to try to get a sneaker. It's not even guaranteed to get a sneaker. Um, so think about everything that you're putting into that um, before you get a bot, right? So those are the costs. Um, we spoke about getting a server proxy. How do you do that? Um, that's a much longer video. You can watch um, lots of stuff out on YouTube. I have stuff on proxies. Um, server videos are, are everywhere I may make one in the future it's pretty basic and um, you know get to know the bot really well that's that's some other advice I can give um, once you get a bot learn every single nook and cranny of that bot every single option because each bot has its own advantage and how to how to take something so for example some bots have um, what's called watch tasks which you can put like one or two tasks that run constantly and then you have like in standby like 20 tasks so when a sneaker drops then all other all the 20 jobs run at once and you can try to get a bunch um you know those are some thoughts i hope you found it helpful um let me know if you have any questions uh leave stuff uh leave comments below if there's anything you want me to elaborate on let me know i'll be more than happy to, to address those uh subscribe what well, they always say subscribe notification blah 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 uh, that'd be kind of cool but whatever um hope this helped all right thanks